Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Some people have always been frightened of bridges. Jephrophobia sufferers often try to avoid crossing bridges altogether, driving miles out of their way to avoid them. Of course, quite a few bridges can be rough experiences for those with acrophobia as well. With some bridges, however, terror seems to be the only sensible response. Here, we look at 12 bridges that would turn anyone's legs to jelly. Don't look down. Number 12. Seven Mile Bridge, Florida Most bridges gained their infamy of inducing terror because of their dizzying heights. However, Seven Mile Bridge in Florida is but only 65 feet above the water at its highest point. But don't be fooled, this bridge is still very scary. The Seven Mile Bridge plunges right into the ocean, connecting some of the Florida Keys with one another. However, once you are on the bridge, all you can see for miles around is bridge and water. This remoteness length and feeling of vulnerability is what makes this bridge so frightening, especially when you consider the fact that if you get in an accident or your car breaks down, you are ultimately stuck until help arrives. As if that wasn't bad enough, once on the bridge, you are also at the whim of Mother Nature as storms are frequent and can roll in without warning, leaving those already on the bridge with no other option than to keep pressing forward. Number 11. Royal Gorge Bridge, Colorado The Royal Gorge Bridge, the world's highest bridge until 2001, was built in 1929 for a paltry $350,000. The bridge spans 384 meters, 1,260 feet, across Colorado's magnificent Royal Gorge. The Arkansas River thunders by 291 meters, 955 feet below, occasionally carrying whitewater rafters battling against the elements. It took just six months to construct the bridge. The two main cables each weigh 200 tons and consist of 2,100 individual cables twisted together. 1,292 planks of wood were bolted to the base to form the deck of the bridge. As there is no vertical truss to the bridge, it has a tendency to move with the motion of footfall, which can be disconcerting when you're crossing a gorge with a raging river almost 300 meters, 1,000 feet below you. If you don't fancy taking the bridge, you could always try the aerial gondolas, which will get you to the other side without the need to panic. Number 10. Titlis Cliffwalk, Switzerland In order to cross the Titlis Cliffwalk, you will first need to climb Mount Titlis, where you will find the bridge waiting for you at the summit. You will then walk through the glacier cave via an underground tunnel to reach it. The Titlis Cliff Walk is around 3,000 meters, 10,000 feet above sea level, and 100 meters, 330 feet long, but only 1 meter, 3.3 feet wide. It stretches from one rock face to another in the Swiss Alps. The bridge crosses a roughly 500 meter, 1,600 feet deep chasm. Walking in single file, it is said to be 150 steps to the other side over the chasm. Once you get to the other side, you can then take the Ice Flyer chairlift to the top of the other side of the glacier. We can only wonder why no one thought to just climb up the other side in the first place. Number 9. Puente de Ojuela, Mexico Even the road leading up to Puente de Ojuela is difficult to traverse, but the bridge itself is terrifying. The bridge is around 300 meters, 1,000 feet long, and is suspended nearly 100 meters, 327 feet above a ravine. The bridge is only 0.6 meters, 2 feet wide. Thankfully, Puente de Ojuela is now only used by pedestrians, but it was used by pack animals in the past. The bridge was originally constructed in 1898 and was used to move gold and silver taken from the local mines and bring supplies in. The bridge sways as you walk on it, and although it has handrails, the spaces between the planks are wide, which means that you have a good view of the canyon below if you are foolish enough to look down. Traffic also moves both ways across the bridge, so you may find yourself jostled as you walk. If you are brave enough to cross the bridge, designed, believe it or not, by the same people who designed the Brooklyn Bridge, you will be able to visit the Ghost Town Museum and one of the abandoned mines. Hmm, maybe not. Number 8. The Hanging Bridge of Gaza, Nepal The Hanging Bridge of Gaza should perhaps be called the Swinging Bridge of Gaza. 
Due to the altitude and the area's susceptibility to high winds, the bridge sways precariously as it is crossed by locals, visitors, and cattle. Though the bridge looks rather fragile, it is said to be quite sturdy. It is still used to move cattle, though the beasts are sometimes blinkered to stop them from panicking as they cross the bridge. And you can see why. If only you could blinker the people too. The bridge is said to have been built to ease congestion across other bridges and is used daily by locals driving their animals across it, which makes the idea of traffic jams interesting. Number 7. Coiling Dragon Path if you're scared of heights, you're going to find that this walkway is going to scare you just looking at the photos. You aren't alone though, and many people would take one look at this adventure and simply turn the other way. After all, who needs to walk around 5,000 feet in the air anyway, right? If, however, you are taking one look at this glass option and thinking, how fast can I get there, you aren't alone either. All you have to do is take a look at the photos and see that there are other adventures that are looking to get in some excellent time in the world of heights. You have to admit that it would make some incredible pictures, there's no question about that. Can you stomach the heights? That it seems is the question that everyone is asking themselves when they look about going on it. Number 6. Keswashaka Bridge, Peru the Keswashaka Bridge, sitting on the Great Inca Road through the Andes, is the finest remaining example of an Inca suspension bridge. The bridges were of vital importance in connecting and consolidating the Inca Empire, and they continued to be used as ordinary parts of the road system for centuries afterward. Again, in times of conflict, the bridges were cut down to protect the inhabitants from intruders. When the Spanish invaded, many of the bridges were burned. Inca bridges were made by braiding natural fibers to make the floor, handrails, and vertical ties between the base and the handrails for protection. Stone pillars anchor the cables on either side of the bridge. Crossing the bridge is not a smooth experience, it has to be said, and the loose nature of the construction allows walkers to get a good view of the river below. Local communities replace the bridge each year, harvesting the grass and weaving it into cables. The inhabitants of each side of the bridge then work together to pull the ropes across. They do not demolish the old bridge until the new one has been built alongside it. Each community begins work at their own end and meet in the middle of the bridge. The whole bridge can be rebuilt in three days, after which the communities gather for a celebration, which seems only right. Number 5. Kuandinsky Bridge, Russia you have to have nerves of steel to drive along this adrenaline-inducing rickety bridge in Russia. To cross the dilapidated Kuandinsky Bridge in the Transbaikal region, drivers must navigate a tiny six-foot wide path with no railing or safety features to save them from toppling into the frozen water below. To make matters worse, the old metal structure is covered with wooden planks, which can be slippery due to the frequent snow and ice. According to Oddity Central, the Transbaikal Region Bridge, which crosses the Vidim River, was originally built to be part of the Baikal Armor Mainline Railway. However, this never came to fruition, leaving the 1,500 inhabitants of the Kuanda village free to use the bridge, if they dare. The decaying structure allegedly has not seen repairs in the last three decades since it was built, making for a nail-biting drive for those brave enough to traverse it. Adding to this are the terrifying strong winds that threaten to sweep daredevils on the 1,870-foot-long bridge into the watery depths below. Drivers are said to cross the bridge with their windows rolled down to prevent the wind from toppling their vehicles off the sides. According to Russian blogger Sergei Dolya, who photographed the rundown bridge, surprisingly, there is no online record of any accidents or fatalities linked to Kuandinsky Bridge. However, he speculates this could be due to the limited number of drivers who are brave enough to cross it. Number 4. Hongyagu Bridge, China Sometimes, it seems that bridge designers are twisted, sadistic people. Take the designers of Hebei's Hongyagu Bridge, which opened in the end of 2017. They have constructed a bridge which spans 488 meters, 1,601 feet, over a vertical drop of 220 meters, 722 feet, which is nerve-wracking enough for most people. 
But the designers decided to add a glass floor so that users could have a great view of the valley below them and trick their minds into believing that there is nothing holding them up. And as if that isn't enough, they decided to give the bridge added sway. The glass panels are 4 centimeters, 1.6 inches thick, which doesn't seem like a lot when it sits between you and certain death. The bridge is capable of accommodating 2,000 people at a time, but only 600 are allowed to walk on it, just in case. Visitors have to wear shoe gloves to protect the glass from scratching or breaking. This is apparently a thing with glass bridges. Who would have known? The bridge authority has stationed staff members at points along the bridge to assist those who feel faint. Still, it could be worse. The creators of the glass suspension bridge have designed it with added sound effects. As you take each step along the glass bridge, it sounds as if the glass is cracking beneath your feet. Nope. Number 3. Husseini Hanging Bridge, Pakistan The Husseini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan hardly deserves the name bridge. The current bridge is the new, improved version, the first, even scarier version having been destroyed by the weather. The bridge is made of rope and planks. There is a constant icy wind blowing too, which makes the bridge sway violently. At least 10 people have died while crossing the bridge, according to locals. If you were to fall, you would be plunged into the river below. Many tourists come to the bridge, often taking two steps onto it, taking a picture, and jumping hastily back. For the local people, however, it is not so easy. They still regularly make use of the crossing, even carrying large packs on their backs as they walk across. Number 2. Aya Kazurabashi, Japan One of the more unusual-looking bridges, Aya Kazurabashi, is found in Japan's Aya Valley among mountains and hot springs. The Vine Bridge is 45 meters, 148 feet long, and only 14 meters, 46 feet above the Ayagawa River. But what it lacks in scariness, it makes up for in weirdness. It is constructed from a plant called hardy kiwi, which, though relatively strong, is not really suitable for bridge building because it is not durable and is prone to rotting. Not a good quality in a bridge. However, the hardy kiwi was used, it is said, deliberately so that the bridge could be cut down quickly in case of invaders, thus preventing the invading army from crossing the gorge. The bridge is rebuilt every three years, and the vines are latched to tall cedars at either side of the gorge. In these days of health and safety, the vines also hide steel ropes inside them, just in case. However, the wide gaps between the steps of the bridge, giving a vertical view of the river below, and the wild swinging as you pass along it are still enough to frighten the life out of most visitors. Number 1. Eshima Ohashi Bridge, Japan Located in western Japan, the Eshima Ohashi Bridge looks more like a roller coaster than a road. It links the city of Matsu in Shimane Prefecture to Sakai Minato in Tottori Prefecture and is basically a highway to outer space, a shortcut to vomiting and nausea, making driving over this thing one seriously thrilling car ride. It's one of the most spectacular bridges in the world. The bridge is a two-lane concrete road. It rises so sharply, it gives the bravest drivers the fear, featuring the ridiculously steep slope that allows ships to pass underneath it. The concrete road spans a mile, and sends drivers soaring into the sky at the very sharp gradient of 6.1% across Lake Nakamuri. The bridge is 1.44 kilometers long with a width of 11.3 meters. It is the largest rigid frame bridge in Japan. If you look straight onto the bridge, the ridiculously steep incline makes it look more like a roller coaster than a road for cars to drive on. It stretches about a mile long with a height of about 144 feet and a 5.1% and 6.1% grade on each end. The bridge has an insanely steep and terrifying slope that's tall enough to let ships pass underneath it with ease. It is a stretch of road that has freaked out even the most confident drivers as it looks like an insane roller coaster. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.